Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today's video is going to be all about a possible March 2021 Apple event. This event looks like it's going to be huge, and there's some pretty awesome products that are rumored to be announced next month. We're looking at new AirPods, a new iPad Pro, an iPad Mini, new iPhone SE, and a new Apple TV. Now, 2020 was a great year for Apple overall. Even with the whole pandemic, they still crushed it and released some pretty awesome products. And it looks like 2021 is going to be even and crazier. So the first product that we are expected to see next month in March is the new iPad Pro. The last update was really minor and the update that's going to happen this year is going to be a lot better. We are definitely going to be getting a processor upgrade in the iPad Pro. Right now the current iPad Pros have the 12Z chip and the iPad Air that's out right now actually has the A14 and it's just very weird to see the iPad Air having a better chip than the iPad Pro. So to accommodate the rumored chip is an A14X chip chip that will be inside of the iPad Pro, making it once again the most powerful processor in the iPad lineup. We're also expecting to see the first ever mini LED display on an iPad. Now this could be coming to the 11 inch and the 12.9, but there's also some rumors out there that there's going to be a high end 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which will be the only one with mini LED. So I'm hoping it comes to all of them and that there's not going to be like a high end 12.9 because personally I want the 11 inch and I would prefer to have have mini LED. So if they keep it only to the 12.9 high-end model, that's going to kind of suck for a lot of people. But anyways, it looks like we are definitely going to get mini LED displays, whether that's on all of them or just one, we'll just have to wait and see. I definitely think having the iPad Pros come out next month in March 2021 makes sense because the last iPad Pros came out in March 2020. So pretty much one year later, I think it just makes sense to refresh them. The next product rumored to be talked about at the March 2021 event is the the iPad mini 6th generation. Now this one is rumored to have a little bit bigger of a display anywhere from 8.5 to 9 inches and if this is right that means that there's going to be a redesign for the iPad mini making it look like the iPad Air and iPad Pro slimming down the bezels possibly having Apple Pencil support magnetically on the side and possibly having touch ID on the power button just like the iPad Air. Now I'm all for this I think this is a step in the right direction and I think it just makes sense. The iPad mini look pretty much the same for a few years now and I think it just makes sense to you know make it look similar to the other iPads but there is someone who disagrees with the previous rumor and that is Mac Otakara. He's basically saying that this will just be a spec bump to the iPad mini giving it a new processor which is most likely going to be the A14 keeping those thick bezels and a lightning connector and a screen size of 8.4 inches basically looking the exact same as the current iPad mini that you can buy right now. I am definitely hoping for a redesign because it's just going to make the iPad mini look way better. I don't see the need to keep those thick bezels either. I think it's just time to, you know, slim those bad boys down and make it look similar to the other iPads, keeping like a unison look between them all. But I guess we'll wait and see. I'm just really hoping that they do go with a redesign and not just keeping the same old design. The next product rumored to be announced at the 2021 March event is an iPhone SE 3 or iPhone SE Plus. This would be a bigger version of the SE that we have right now. Now, as the name implies, this is going to be a bigger version of the SE with a 5.5 or 6.1 inch display and ultra wide camera. It's basically going to look like an iPhone 8 plus, which the SE that came out last year looked like a regular iPhone 8. So I definitely think this makes sense, you know, have the iPhone SE that came out last year look like the iPhone 8 and then have the iPhone SE that comes out this year look like the 8 plus. It's rumored to have the A13 or A14 chip. And I think this is officially going to kill off the iPhone XR. Just because the price range would be pretty much the same and it makes no sense to have like a brand new phone the same price as an old phone. So I think they're just going to ax it, chop it away, and never sell it again. The XR right now is going for $500, so that's what I think it's going to go for. And then if people want a more budget-friendly full display phone, the iPhone 11 is available. The next product is AirPods 3. Now these are rumored to look pretty similar to the AirPods Pro, having a shorter stem and replaceable ear tips. And it looks like Apple is going to be completely shifting over to an in-ear design, which I'm all for because I really like that design. To be completely honest, I hated silicone tips before, but then I bought the AirPods Pro and Apple did a really, really good job with those. And now I'm a pretty big fan of these silicone tips from Apple because they're so small and they just fit pretty well. I think there's going to be an update to the charging case as well. I think they're only going to make it wireless and still have a lightning port on the bottom. I think this is just going to simplify a lot of things because with the AirPods that you can buy right now, 
You can buy the regular AirPods where you have to plug them in with a lightning cable. You can buy the wireless charging AirPods. And then if you bought the AirPods that you can only connect with a lightning cord, then you can actually buy the wireless charging case separate. So there's basically three products that come along with the second generation AirPods that you can buy right now. And I think with the AirPods 3, if you just release them all with a wireless charging case with a lightning port on the bottom, it makes it way easier for customers. And I think it makes a lot of sense versus having like three different products for the same kind of thing. So yes, the AirPods 3 will look like the AirPods Pro, but they won't have some of the Pro features like noise cancellation and transparency mode. Also, if you guys were wondering, it looks like AirPods Pro 2 are rumored to be coming out later in the year, and I am super excited to get those. The next product is an updated Apple TV. Now, we haven't gotten an update on the Apple TV since 2017, which feels like a lifetime ago. It looks like we could be seeing a brand new remote with a new design and a U1 chip built in so that if you lose your remote, you can actually go on the Find My app and look for your remote like that, which I think is actually pretty cool. Now, personally, I don't ever really lose my remote because I like to set it down on my table, but for people that do lose the remote, this is going to be a great feature versus rummaging through the couch cushions trying to find this thing or like looking under the couch or walking around your house in circles, seeing if you left it somewhere. It looks like the new Apple TV is going to have a very heavy gaming focus. It's rumored to have console-like graphics. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I guess we'll wait and see, but I think Apple Arcade is going to hit that next level this year, and it might have those console level graphics, and to accommodate, it looks like Apple might be making their own first party gaming controller, and acquiring some exclusive games to attract people to get that Apple Arcade subscription. Now the rumored processor to be included with the Apple TV 2021 is the A14 chip, which is going to have way more CPU and GPU power, and if Apple is going for console level gaming, this is going to be a huge help. I am super super excited for a new Apple TV because I find the Apple TV is one of the most underrated Apple products out there. I love my Apple TV and if you can give it console-like performance, that's just going to make me like it even more. Now the last product that we're going to talk about in this video is AirTags. Yes, I said AirTags. These things have been rumored to come out for a long time now and they just never do. If you guys don't know what AirTags are, it's basically a tracking device that Apple is making. Essentially like Tile and the new Samsung tags. You lose something, you have an AirTag, now you know where it is. Now we got a leak about a month ago of what they will look like, and I'm a big fan of the design. I think they're going to sell really well. I just don't think that Apple is going to release them next month. I just have a feeling. I think they are really just waiting for a time where things go back to normal, and you know, people are out and about in the world, moving around, where they could potentially lose something and actually have use for the AirTags, because if they release it right now and a whole bunch of people are still under lockdown, like myself, not really going to be a huge demand demand for the product, so I don't think it's going to sell that well. So I think they are probably going to hold off on them until maybe like a summer event, but you never know. They could be announced in March, but they've been pushed back a whole bunch of times already, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did it again. Now I know some of you guys are probably expecting some Mac-related rumors, which I will be making a separate video on that, but to be completely honest, I don't think they are going to be announced in March. I think it's probably more likely for like June, July, right before school, so you get that rush of students that need new computers, but I will be making a Mac video, so if you guys want to hear some news about that, make sure you subscribe. So guys, some pretty awesome products rumored to be announced next month in March 2021. Personally, I'm most excited for a new Apple TV and a new iPad Pro. Leave a comment down below of what products you guys are most excited for. Lots of content coming this month, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Other than that, thanks for watching again. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.